How do you take on a big multinational corporation like the Coca-Cola company and get them to understand something which is really, really important to you? Anyone? Well, you get a bunch of people, of course. And not just any bunch of people, you need a bunch of Coca-Cola drinkers with an established relationship to the Coca-Cola company, and they need to feel the same way about this issue as you do. And how many does it take? 53,000. 53,000 people to change the way one of the biggest multinational corporations in the world feel about a very important ethical issue. And this issue is, how much should multinational corporation care about uh, and, and get involved in human rights and ethics? And I would say that um, individuals and multinational corporations are more globally oriented uh, than governments and nations when it comes to markets, when it comes to uh, communication, when it comes to interaction. And why shouldn't this be uh, of use to us all when it comes uh, to democracy, to uh, international law, uh, to ethics, and to uh, dem uh, democracy? I'd like to tell you now a story about Coca-Cola and Martina. The most, or should I say, the biggest fear for a parent is for something horrible to happen to your child. And I, when I met Odd Petter Magnussen, the father of Martina, who was brutally raped and murdered in London, in 2008. I was utterly impressed by him. I'll show you a photo. Here's a photo of Martina on her website, Justice for Martina. His daughter was torn away from his life, and the only suspect escapes to Yemen and has stayed there ever, uh, ever since, apparently living pretty well, protected by his extremely rich father. And what can be done about this? Because this is a global problem. And governments and nations are bottlenecks here in providing solutions. This is happening more and more also. There's no ex extraditional uh, treaty between Yemen and, and Norway or between Yemen and the UK. And this is a growing problem, a problem. It's happening more and more cases every year. And the question that Odd Petter and I asked ourselves is, what can be done about this? Um, one answer is um, trying to apply pressure through all possible channels. And one of these channels include multinational corporations that are in a direct business relationship with the father who is protecting his son. And one of these companies is um, the Coca-Cola company. And um, a key issue here was dialogue. Because this is all a matter of confrontations. We confront these multinational corporations and say, you should do something about this. You should care, you should get involved. And these confrontations, it's not hard on hard confrontation. I call it soft hard dialogue. Because then you get soft hard in return. And it turns out that inside multinational corporations, there are people who care about human rights and, and ethics. It's true. And also what happened, we were contacted by Yemeni freedom fighters who, who are seeing the Abdullah family of the, of, the, of the suspect here as very much a part of the regime in Yemen. And the father of the suspect, Shahir Abdullah, they see him as very much a close ally of the, of the president of Yemen. And they wanted to help us. They came to us and said, we want to help. And imagine in Yemen, 50% of the population is between 15 and 25 years of age. They have one of the largest gun availabilities in the world. They topped the statistics there. And still, they're being slaughtered and injured in the thousands in Yemen now, as we speak, now, today. 
And still they continue with non-violent, peaceful demonstrations. It's impressive. And I'm not sure if we in the West, you tell me, I'm not sure if we in the West would act the same way if we were kidnapped, if we were tortured, if we were shot down by snipers when we demonstrate, if our tents that we put out on the squares were burned down with people inside, with children inside, happened just a week ago. Everyone's a target, women, children, everyone. And with the pressure that they were able to apply inside of Yemen, I mean, the pressure from the multinational corporations, uh, also other than Coca-Cola, who joined in, like Philips, like Whirlpool, and, and like Mercedes, Daimler-Benz. And with the pressure from all these bunch of people, the individuals who care and, and, and show support, and journalists who won't stop writing about this case, and some, uh, the tireless effort from the family, of course. With this united pressure, the family of the suspect now is, is uh, wanting to negotiate, see, can we try to find a solution? And if not the solution in the UK courts, can we raise it above national level? For example, by having an arbitration court in, in Hague, for example. That's the solution. Um, and this is all possible through the focus on human rights and ethics. And what I've learned from this experience is that people want to get more involved. People want more participation. People want to participate in democracies. A vote every four or five years just isn't enough. The thing is, get involved. People want to get involved. And if you really do care about democracy, well, vote, of course. If you really do care and you're an individual, get involved, do something, participate. If you really do care about the environment, turn the lights off when you walk out of the room or heat your water with a uh, uh, water heater instead of just putting it on the, on the stove, for example. Do these things because then you make a difference every day. And it's needed to be, to be done. It's the same as uh, Hans Rössling on TED in December. He, he showed how 14% of the world's population, I guess almost all of us are included there, spend 50% of the energy. If you can't do anything about that now, we don't have a future. If you really do care as a lawmaker, offer more involvement. Let people get more involved. This can be done by um, having more referendums, like in Switzerland, on issues. This can be done li by, um, um, uh, for example, letting persons, letting us vote a small certain percentage of what we want our tax money to be spent on, on uh, our tax returns, for example. More participations. If you really do care and are in a multinational corporation. Get involved, use every chance you get to show that you care about human rights and ethics. Thank you.